Hey, so I kind of had the urge to create a video about this uh, drinking bird duck thing here. Um, I have a massive fascina uh, fascination with this um, with this object. There's there's just so much physics going on in here that uh, I can't stand but to love it. So you can watch it for a bit. Here, I'm going to let it go through a couple cycles. Then I'm going to try to explain uh, what's going on. Um... Don't feel bad if you can't figure it out, because legend has it that Einstein was at some party where the son of the man who created this object had brought it. And even Einstein could not figure it out with all his experience. Um, so, of course, there's some liquid rising up, which is causing the shift in the, uh, in the mechanical equilibrium position. So something's going on there. Why is the <coughs> why is this liquid being sucked up? Um, there's probably something to do with the water too. Um, yeah. So I'll try to get to describing it. Bear with me a second. I'm just going to adjust the camera very slightly. Uh, if you can ignore what's on the board for now, I'm gonna erase that. Okay, so what's happening in the bird? Um, I'm going to ignore its hat. I'm going to ignore almost everything about it. What I'm going to draw about this is the shape of the body and perhaps the fluid, but basically I'm just going to draw the mechanical design of the interior glass. See how good of an artist I am. So there's going to be a narrow tube plus a bulb on the bottom and uh, one bulb on the top actually um, extending from this bottom portion there's actually a tube hollow tube and uh, there appears to be some liquid filling this this liquid here is not water what it actually is is this um, they used to use dichloromethane but now this is actually methylene chloride that's been dyed orange or red so let's get rid of this this the fluid oh, this one doesn't really work the fluid is red i will represent it using a green pen and so what's happening is that so we see the let's keep this guy in view what's happening is we see that the fluid is rising so the fluid is rising because of a pressure difference that's occurring between the head and the bottom. So um, the reason the fluid is being sucked up is essentially because su kind of like when you suck on a straw, you're creating this low pressure in your mouth that's a lower pressure than the pressure of the atmosphere on the outside. So the atmosphere will push the liquid into your mouth. You are not actually sucking the liquid, which is kind of strange to think about. So what's happening is there's a low pressure that's sucking fluid up. But um, why is that happening? You must first um, understand that the fluid, which is methylene chloride, has an extremely high vapor pressure. So what's happening is that there are many, 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 many gas molecules of the methylene chloride because of its extreme vapor pressure. So what's happening is boom, 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 lots and lots of molecules of methylene chloride all over, all over here. Extreme high density of gas. But... It is a gas. And what's happening is the top of the head, the top of that head here, it gets wet because it's continuously dipping into this, into this water here. So what happens is the water that surrounds the side, it's on the felt, and it starts to evaporate. So the water starts to evaporate just due to its vapor pressure and its volatility. So when the water evaporates, it's bringing heat energy away from the system. It's bringing evaporation as a form of cooling, right? So what's uh, this is the, it's, it's sort of equivalent to the bird sweating because when you sweat, what's happening is the kinetic energy of the molecules that's held in the water due to you being so hot, it leaves the system by evaporating. And uh, that is how your body cools you. So this is what's happening, the head, uh, water is evaporating from that, thereby cooling the gas within. 
So the gas inside now is a bit cooler and it starts to condense. We have to imagine here that this is not the reason that there's a weight distribution, um, a difference in weight distribution because of the con uh, condensation. What's happening is it's condensing so that the gas that used to take up this volume is now, in a, is now a droplet, which only takes up very little volume. So all of these gas molecules here have condensed to form a droplet, which takes much, much less volume than the gas. So what's happening, that's the reason there's a pressure differential. It's not because there's suddenly liquid accumulating at the top, which is true, but that wouldn't cause the weight difference because there's still the same number, same mass, and same number of moles of molecule in that vicinity. So what's happening is there's a pressure drop because of the condensation. So now we can say this, it's not gonna be in one big droplet, it's probably gonna be spread out along uh, the surface due to uh, capillary forces. But what's happening is it's condensing, low pressure, brings the liquid up, it's sucking up because it's low pressure, low pressure, sucks it up, slowly drains from the bottom here. So by the time the liquid is all the way up to the neck, this liquid here, the reservoir is almost at the point where the tube can no longer be uh, in a perfect seal. So what happens is the weight starts to distribute itself and the bird, let's call this the axis, the bird tips over. And what happens is all the fluid that was in here is now out of the liquid's reach. So since this tube is out of the liquid's reach, there is no longer a seal. And all this liquid that had built up into here at this point, all of this methylene chloride that's been up here, because it's been sucked up by the pressure, all up in here too, I guess, it all rushes out because suddenly there's an opening for it. Path of least resistance, fluids, this is how they flow, right? So it all rushes out back into the reservoir and it resets the cycle. So it goes back, all the liquid's back in its bum again, but the top is wet. And how astounding is that? All this thermodynamics going on with a simple mechanical system. So um, this fascinated me and I thought it was awesome because you know, whatever, free energy device or something like that. Clearly not, it's deriving energy from the evaporation of water and that's astounding is taking it from the hydrogen bonds that are keeping this water together in a liquid state. It's using that energy to run itself. And to me, that's, that's, um, that's like a perfect picture of nature encapsulated in some form that, uh, we can barely manage. And like when people look at this drinking duck thing here, they don't necessarily think of it as a work of nature or an extreme representation of what that is. But I do, because I don't feel like anything else can get more natural than just these processes. Yes, we've isolated them in a system in which they can be well observed, but in what way is that not natural? Like, um, the processes go on just as they would have if we did not isolate them. It just gives us a chance to study them a bit better. So yeah, um, in short, what happens is... I'm going to redirect you back to the duck. There's the duck. Okay, so what's happening right now, low vapor pressure, I mean, uh, there's lots of vapor up there. Water is evaporating, bringing energy away from the system, condensing the gas. So all the liquid is slowly being sucked up because of the low pressure in the head. Sucking up, sucking up. There's still plenty of fluid at the bottom. So it's not out of fluid yet. It's starting to shift the balance, so... The head's starting to get a little bit heavier than the bottom. Here it goes. Watch this back bit here. And there it goes. You see the bottom comes out of the fluid so that all the liquid can just rush back into the bottom. And that resets the cycle. There is the trigger. And um, of course you do need a fresh continuous supply of water. To try to replenish that. And um, otherwise, there's not much to it, just lots of thermodynamics. And um, that's basically it, really.
And that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I just wanted to show you, um, share this with you. That's something that I really like. And uh, thanks for watching.